Today on the workbench we have a, a new project here. This is a Broadway Limited SD40-2. Uh, it does have DCC in it, <clears throat> but uh, for some reason I keep getting shorts in it. And so we're just going to take the, the factory system out of it and we're going to put in a uh, so we'll put in a next trains decoder buddy mini all I'm going to do to this is just put the headlights in front and rear headlights you know nothing special um, I've got a TCS wow diesel decoder and we'll use a TCS keep alive probably a KA1 and <clears throat> I believe these take 28 millimeter speakers so I've got a Soundtrax 28 millimeter speaker uh, if I don't use the Soundtrax I've got some uh, scale sound system speakers that I may end up using and so this one is marked you can see it here they ran this one long hood forward so we'll we'll set that we'll set that up in that configuration to run that way <clears throat> but anyway let's jump right into this thing we'll start taking it apart looks like we need to pull the couplers out of it that out of there. We'll upgrade the couplers too. And then there's one in the front here. And somebody has done some modification to this thing. They've uh, they've taken and filed down the snow plow on the front of it. If you can see that or not, it looks like they filed down the back here. So let's see what else do we have here. Looks like we've got a screw right back here behind the fuel tank. Get that out. That's not everything, evidently. Okay, one right beside of it. For some reason, I couldn't see that while I was looking directly at it. There we go. that back in a little bit. Okay. So there's our shell off. Get some of this stuff out of the way here. Yeah, those springs on those couplers were not in the greatest of shape anyway. <clears throat> so this has got the old QSI board in it. I mean, when it did, when it does run, it runs fairly well. Well, this has two speakers in it, so we'll put two. of the soundtrack speakers in it. Let me pull that. It's like a cloth cloth tape there. Let's 
looks like it does have LEDs in it. So I may not even have to change the lights. Just leave them the way they are. So, what am I going to take out here? What am I leaving? These two black wires, track feeds. Go ahead and pull that up. Right there might be our problem why it keeps shorting. I've got some wires melted together right here and right here. So evidently this thing has gotten hot. It looks like that one's burned into a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut these, cut them long, as long as I can. Those red and white ones, I believe, are the motor wires. No, they're not the black and gray or motor wires. All right. Well, it's even melted to the motor wire there, that track pickup wire. I'm pretty sure that was the problem. Let me unplug that. And I've got another one to unplug. Okay, so this first one you saw me pull out by the wires itself. You really shouldn't do that. But since we're replacing all this stuff, it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> but if you want to keep this stuff, this pair of uh, Zeron pliers... I don't remember what number they are, but they're actually uh, like a flush cutting end nipper. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it lets you just grab one to the sides. And you can pull them right out with that handy little thing if you're keeping JST plugs. So we've got that out. That red and black must be the speakers. And then this red and black up here looks to be the wires for the lighting. So, see, we'll take that and we'll grab our JST plug and pull it right out. So now, looks like we've got four screws up here to pull take out of this board I don't know if this has a date on it or not. I don't know if that's a date code on the bottom of that right there or not. But anyway, there's a Q 
QSI board that we'll never need again. I'll move those two screws around so I don't lose them. Okay. So, what do we have here? That looks to be bigger than 28 millimeter. That's not. Maybe I won't replace those. Maybe I'll leave those because they do sound all right. Um, yeah, I think I'll just skip that that soundtrack speaker. So let's break out our decoder buddy mini here. Oh, where's my knife? that in there. I don't need to keep alive yet or the so I think what we'll do is we'll mount that right up to the first two screw holes so what I'm going to do here I'm going to pull this little light board off just to see okay I was checking to see if there was a resistor on this but there's not so that's a good thing so this decoder buddy has thousand ohm resistors on it already turn that on I'm going to cut that plug off for the lights. And I'm actually going to take and solder this before I put this down. Because if I don't, I'll have a heck of a time. So I'll just leave myself a little bit of room here. And I'm going to cut these track pickup wires off too and we can hook them up before we attach our board so now Go ahead and start stripping some wires. Go ahead and put some flux on here. This is Kester's 186 flux that I use. Put it across the decoder buddy too. Um,
So there's those. Now, Well, the other thing I want to do before I attach that to there, um, well, double-sided tape is going to be too much for that. So we'll just go off of the two screws. So let me clean that off. That'll get our excess solder out of the way. start from uh, back to front here putting these in oop dummy Well, I said I was going to do it back to front, and I just went back on that because these are the lighting pickups, or the, the light. The light connections. <laughs> these are the track pickups. And it would have been much easier... Okay. There's that. Now we'll attach the board up here. will be a good solid connection there's that now and we'll have to extend our motor wires. Yeah, well, that one's fine. <laughs> yep, and we'll have to extend the motor wires. So.
Um, let me get this keep alive out. Go ahead. I'm going to lay it right in here. That'll fit nicely right here. So, clean the space off. Clean the bottom of that off. put a piece of double-sided tape on there One thing about it, there is definitely plenty of room in this shell. So I might as well hook these up. Just cut them off. Cut that off. And they'll go right. Well, let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm going to have to extend the wires for the rear pickups because they're not long enough so I'll bring that over and then I'll have to figure out which wires we've got here for this um, Okay, so I need to extend those, I need to extend these, and the speaker wires are good. Yeah, I want to hook my track and my lights up first. So, give me a minute, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I did take and extend these two already. I don't know why I didn't turn the camera back on. Of course, you don't need to see me just connecting two wires together, but yeah. That'll save me some room on my card, I guess. That little bit of time. But there's that. Of course, this is heat shrink. that there we go that's better we 
least now it won't be shorting out. Got this little piece of aluminum here I can put some rosin or flux on. So there's your basically the same size. We'll go ahead and attach them. Sometimes that's just easier to do when you're dealing with the flux. There's that one. And that one. Now. We'll just hit all four of those while we're here. Clean that board up a little bit. Now, let's see. Which one is which here? That's that. Okay. <clears throat> so, we've got these sorted out now. that tip off a little bit. I'm going to zoom down here a little bit. My track pickup. other one. So that'll be in there nice and neat. <clears throat> speakers up before I do anything else. Got 
that off. And if I don't like the sound here, then I'll change these speakers out. But I think that it will be fine. Okay, so we've got our speakers hooked up. Um, all of our track pickups. Now, um, Actually, I want to do the lights before. I should have left those under there. Because they were out of the way nicely. Okay. Now... So I believe these two capacitors back here were for resist or um, <clears throat> keep alive's originally in this thing, but they didn't work. That was probably because the thing would kept shorting out. So I need to figure out which two of these wires are um, the light. I'm going to assume that they're the red and black one since that's what the front is. Actually, I guess in this one it's the rear. But the way we'll do that, let me strip these off. <clears throat> and then I'll get my 
meter out or not my meter but uh, this pair of smart tweezers and we'll test it that is it but I think the red may be negative yep red is negative so I wonder if that's the way this one was no red is positive on the front one okay so that one's the front hook the this one's hooked up right. Red is the positive and black is the negative. Back here we have and the way I know that is because my tweezers tell me so. So positive is this side and this side is negative. So black yep <clears throat> Black is positive out here. And then I'll just end up cutting these two wires off because I won't need it and I'll leave those. But I need to extend that. Um, just looking to see if I had any what I had laying here on the on my workbench that I could use I can probably use a piece of this black I don't know. nope I gotta find me some wire I'll be back okay so I'm back here and I went ahead and extended these I know that that red wire looks orange but it is red and I extended my black let's see so we're running through running through I'll be able to put a piece of tape back across that cut that off none of that is needed so we are good there keep that all tucked in and now we can run up here <coughs> up here to our white and I said the black was positive so we'll cut that off there off there similar lengths
So really, we have almost got this locomotive done. There's that light hooked up. <clears throat> I've only got two connections left. The uh, motor and we'll take and run those wires over onto that side. I'm going to hook up the keep alive right now let me take and strip these off some flux on that. Now I'll clean that board off before I fasten those down. So our black wire is the ground. And then the blue is the positive. That'll sit there. I've got a piece of black there. Well, let me, yeah, before I do anything, <clears throat> I'm going to extend these. piece of black piece of gray here.
get our heat shrink. So there's that, and I could run them up that way, but well, I think I will because Gonna keep it off of the flywheel. Maybe that black one I will run underneath. That way I can run it up the other side. That's what I want. Trying to keep that away from that flywheel in there. Yeah, let me pull it back. Pull it back through. It does seem to work better over there.
There we go. Okay. <clears throat> that really was more trouble than it was worth. So now... I just need to get the flux and solder on the board. Can clean that off now. And this will be done. Okay, there's all of our connections. We're all good to go. I am ready to break out this decoder and put it on, and then we can test this puppy. plenty of room for everything so we'll put this up on the test track and then I'll be back all right we've got our uh, SD40-2 finished here got it up on the uh, small test track and uh, we'll just go through the the startup on this I have changed the, the sound to a 645 with a turbo. So 
So now let's uh, let's kind of ramp that up a little bit. And you can really hear hear that turbo on there. So I'm going to take that back down. We'll get it back down to an idle here. Okay. Uh, now, I do have this set up as long hood forward you can see by the little F there on the catwalk on the long hood but uh, I'm gonna rotate this around here so you can see the first way I've got this thing lit to film it you really can't see the headlight very well but it is it is fairly bright it's just my lights are drowning it out so the only two lighting functions that this has is, or are, the front headlight and the rear headlight. Uh, here's the horn. And the bell. And really, that's, uh, that's about it for this locomotive. Let's see what this... Uh, crew alert is. And a nice high pitch squeal. So uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, nice simple installation. Kept the same speakers in it. Keep alive new 21 pin decoder uh, decoder buddy it does run it runs really smooth uh, I'll get this speed match to something and I'll be able to take it to the club and and uh, run it but anyway uh, thanks for watching We've got this back up on the test track or the turntable and I went back in this thing and I took the stock speakers out and replaced it with a scale sound system speaker and what a difference it makes. So I'm going to go ahead, turn on the DCC and we'll let this go through its startup. So there we went through the startup. Of course, our light, really simple lighting functions, just the front and rear headlights. We'll go ahead and move this forward at speed step one. So it does have really good uh, low end. I'll go ahead and pull it back.
So yeah, this project's complete, and uh, thanks for watching.